You better duck. You've got to duck. Duck! Duck! Well, he does. He's a foot taller than you. <laughs> That's why we go around. It's fine. Why did around. Around. I don't know. You're probably... <laughs> Could you put my glasses on, a, on, a, on an appropriate <laughs> yep. nearby... Spin around uh... over here. I'll put them. Thank you. Thanks, ma'am. I might even wear them. Let's have a look. Oh, my life! Everything's so clear! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to another episode on Anderson's TV. This is possibly the most requested shootout of the last three or four weeks, or certainly one of them. As you guys know, Boss Katana, undisputed king of that kind of affordable... Um, Solid State guitar amplifier market for the last three or four years have released Katana 2. Which I recently. have not heard. Have you not? No. Okay. Uh, and simultaneously, virtually simultaneously, Blackstar also released Silverline, which is a similarly kind of featured amplifier. So we, that's the shootout now. But also stay tuned because uh, Yamaha THR have also released a new one. And despite the fact that one of the amps is quite big and one of the amps is quite diddy, that's the most asked for shootout of the last three or four weeks is Ooh. do I buy THR or do I buy Katana 50? So we'll be doing that shootout after this one in another video. So, Rob, you have got here my Chapman Captain, <coughs> which I recently put some Seymour Duncan pickups in. So this is the first time this has been <coughs> seen on video. Let me get rid of that stand. Uh, for those of you that are Seymour Duncan aficionados out there, it is a 59 in the bridge, uh, a vintage staggered single coil in the middle, and a custom hybrid in, oh, the, yeah. in the bridge. And in positions two and four, it coil taps, so you get those nice kind of stratty tones. Anyway, we have got the two amps here with Rob sat in the middle with both amps kind of angled uh, the same that's way. That's why it feels wrong. Yeah, so it's positionally not quite right here, but the idea is I, I, I don't want there to be any reason why one amp should have an advantage over the other. So Rob should be getting exactly the same kind of tones from each one. I've got an AB switch on the floor here, and I have got um, a snake oil very thin kind of boosty pedal set to uh, a little bit of gain, lots of volume, so we'll be using that in a sort of a tube screamery way. And we're going to try three sounds. We're going to try the clean sounds on the amp, we're going to try the crunch sounds on the amp, and we're going to try the high gain sounds on the amp. Can I just interject? Do. And just say, for the viewers to know, that they shut me in the toilet. Yes. And left me in there so that I couldn't see how things were being set up. Absolutely. Because you're a bad boy. <laughs> I was a bad boy. He was a bad boy. And therefore they um, shut me in the toilet. We are going to start with each amplifier at the same kind of volume, but with all the EQ at 12 o'clock, and Rob will be able to say, oh, could I have a bit more bass, a bit more treble, whatever. And we're simply going to use a very similar sounding reverb on each amplifier, so we're not <sighs> delving into the effects that things can happen. I feel like we should get on playing, but there is quite a lot to tell you. So I tell you what we'll do first. We'll do the clean thing first and then I'll come back and tell you some features that make the amps different, etc., etc. Um, okay, are you ready, Rob? I was born ready. Brilliant. I am gonna go GoPro cam to go behind the amplifiers, show you what settings they're on. Taylor, in fact, let's just quickly do this. Taylor over there, he is in charge of the AB Box of Doom. Um, so he'll be switching between these fine guitar amplifiers. Uh, you'll see the settings there on. Rob will go. Uh, Rob has the option to ask me to adjust any of the EQ settings on them, and <laughs> ultimately will go. I like that one more than that <laughs> one, or whatever. So here we go. Can I play? You can. Watch one. Are we on? Are we on A or B? Are we on this one or this one? We're on, on this one. one. Okay, cool. Right here are the settings as Rob plays. <laughs> Okay, all right. right. Sounds so, nice. Cool. Should we jump to the <coughs> let's jump to the other one without adjusting anything? Yep. So here we go. Would you, what changes would you like made to either of them, Mr. C? 
Well, I mean, you could add a bit more mid-range to this one. The one you were just playing? Yeah. Okay, here we go. A little bit more mid-range as requested. Yeah, that sounds jump, good. Jump back to the other one then, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It needs a bit more low end and yeah. it needs a bit less of the... All I'm allowed to adjust on this particular setting for you, Rob, is bass, middle and treble. Okay, I'd like more bass, please. Okay, there is more bass now. <laughs> Okay, just a quick A-B between the two then. Ready? Yep. Cool. I already know which is which. You already know which is which. Well, let's leave the reveal till the end. Okay, so that was the first bit. I should tell you, um, whilst I'm going to leave uh, GoPro cam going all the time because I think that'll make it easier for editing. So I should tell you, feature-wise, um, you'll know already, if you're familiar with these ranges, that the Boss Katana range is quite a bit cheaper than the uh, Black Star Silver Line range. And had we done this shootout brace based on price, you'd have found the 100 watt Katana up against the 20 watt Silver Line. <laughs> so Katana would just win that all day long. So that wasn't really the shootout that we decided to do. And I think it's fair to say that if you're shopping on a budget, you've saved up for the last six months to reach three or 400 pounds or whatever, you're going to buy Katana every time over Silverline. What we've done in this uh, shootout is compare the like-for-like -like models. So 100 watt 1x12 Silverline versus 100 watt 1x12 Katana. Yeah. There is a price difference. Um, it's up to you really to decide if you think the Silverline sounds better. It's up to you to justify whether you think the price difference is worth it. And of course, if you like the Katana better, then good for you. You're, <laughs> you've just bought yourself, you've saved yourself a couple of hundred quid as well. Um, in terms of features, this is how this is how most of these this is how these amps work, and these are the differences. So the both of them, you, you plug your guitar in. It's a normal analog input stage, so it should be fine for pedals and all that kind of stuff. Um, then, as it goes through all the preamp circuitry, that's when the digital modelling happens. Um, then, when you get to the power amp section, the Black Star has a class D power amp section and it has an overrated um, power amp section. So although this is called the Silverline 100, it's a class D amplifier capable of delivering up to about 150 watts to give you that extra headroom to sort of emulate more like a 100 watt valve amp would emulate. Uh, all, lots of digital processing going on in the Black Star to change the characteristics of the power amp as you turn the volume up and as you choose different settings on, you know, in, in its power amp mode. Uh, the Boss Katana has a, a more traditional class AB power amp section that, if anything, is perhaps more likely to react um, in the way the speaker's being driven uh, rather than relying on DSP to get it to change, but it's a, it's a different uh, power amp technology and that is 100 watts kind of maximum, if you like. Um, the uh, Blackstar is using a Shark DSP processor, so uh, that's a processor that um, lots of brands like Helix and Fractal have used over the years for their processing. The Boss uses a proprietary DSP chip they made it themselves basically. Uh, same on the speaker. The Blackstar uses a Celestian V-Type. The Boss uses, again, a proprietary, they designed it themselves, 12-inch speaker. Um, that's kind of the spec differences. I do want to just show you quickly um, the, both amps have foot switches that give you a variety of uh, functions to do with changing, uh, recalling patches, turning on and off effects, things like that. The Boss one is an optional extra. The Blackstar one, if you buy your amplifier from Anderton's, comes free. Uh, so I guess that narrows the price difference by sort of, you know, 70 odd pounds, something like that. But anyway, perhaps you'll see some close-ups of the foot switches on screen. Um, 
The Boss foot switch, by the way, I've got here's got all of our stickers all over it from when we use it in the studio here. Um, so it won't, it'll, won't have all those stickers on it when you get it. Uh, right, let's go over to the crunch mode um, now and see which one Rob prefers out of those two. Exciting. I feel like I, I, I'm a bit of a, a sitting duck slash, I don't know, it's, it's weird this video because I'm learning lots about the amplifiers, but I feel like I'm not allowed to participate because I don't know what I'm playing. So here we go. This amp here, you can see from the settings, we're now trying to achieve a crunch <clears throat> tone. You can see what I've adjusted. EQ is all flat again. Uh, no pedals yet, although we do have a boost pedal on the floor that we can use at Rob's uh, request. So here you go, Rob, let's play. <laughs> Next, should we move over to the other side yep. then? Okay, here we go. Jump back to this amp, please, Tate. Now, again, you can have everything's at 12 o'clock, so you can have more gain, different EQ, whatever you want. You, you tell me. Uh, could I, um, could I have less treble? Yes. Less, uh, and just a touch less mid. Yeah. But is there any more gain? There's lot. Yeah, we're only at halfway with gain, so oh, I'll okay. turn the gain up to three quarters. Yeah, three. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Snake oil pedal pumped in. Oh, as well. yes. Okay, whack that on. Jump over to the other one, uh, and again, what would you like? The same again, more gain on yeah, this one? Let me hear it a sec. <laughs> Just a little bit more gain and a little bit less uh, treble. That's without the snake oil, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Add the snake oil. anything else on that I mean or should we just move on to the highest gain settings? Yeah, the hardest part of, of doing this blindfold test other than the fact that I can't see <laughs> and that they shut me in the toilet so I couldn't see what was happening uh, is that I can't adjust the amp myself 
Right. Because there are many things that I would do to tweak them and make them sound the way that I would want them to, to sound. And without having full access to the controls, it's impossible to really say to you, uh, let's do, do this, do well, that. Once I unveil them, let's yeah. finish them. Let's finish the second Oh, yeah, yeah that's a good okay. idea. So, uh, there's not much else to tell you about these amplifiers. You'll notice, if you, you know, for those eagle-eyed of you, uh, one of the amps is in a slightly bigger enclosure than the other. Again, uh, that not that that is what happens like for like if we were to do more of a price shootout comparison with this you'd find that um, the silver line would be in a sort of a smaller enclosure a more similar sized enclosure perhaps to the price equivalent um, boss one uh, and then again if we have a, a shot on screen now of the features that you get on the back of the amplifier you'll see again the boss has got quite a lot more in and out kind of features than the silver line the silver line really just has um, a, an, a sort of an auxiliary input and a, an emulated power output, which using the software editor, you can switch to become an effects loop. Whereas on the boss, uh, you'll see the effects loop and the ins and outs are all separate. So you can have both simultaneously. Anyway, let's jump over to our highest gain settings. And again, excuse me a second whilst I just look them up and uh, give us a second. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Just a level check between. Ready? Can I smell cucumber really strongly? Okay, here we are back <coughs> in the room uh, with the Renegade highest, master. highest gain settings on each amplifier. Uh, here we are, you can see what I've done here. And let's play with this amplifier, please. And let's see what we've done with this amplifier. Ready? Okay, so if we go back to the first one, is there anything you'd like me to change on it uh, in terms of EQ or gain? Back off the gain yep. and add in mid-range. Okay, and there we go. Uh, and uh, it's got too much presence in it, too much uh, treble frequency. Add a bit of bass and remove some of the treble. Okay. <laughs> There's a frequency that I, I, it's not being removed that okay, I don't like keep in. keep playing whilst I... Yeah, uh, next. Okay, fine, over here. What would you like to do over here? Uh, I'd like a little bit more gain and a bit less mid and okay. a bit less treble. Yeah. Yes. 
Uh, yes, what? I don't like the model that it's using for, okay. the, for, the, for the crunch that, well, that it's uh, set to. Uh, there's not a lot I can do about that, other I, than I, I think, know. to be honest with you, we might as well. I quite like your suggestion of just doing the reveal and uh, then you um, tune. So what can do I have you my think? glasses then? So uh, well, I think that's the black star, and I think. Oh, sorry, I think that's the uh, uh, katana, and I think that's the black star. Well, let's reveal. Oh, See God, which one I you chose. Really, really hope Here's I have. Here's your glasses. Up. Thanks. Here's your glasses. <laughs> I'm not very. <laughs> I'm not very surprised. I will admit. Um, there were tones in this I liked. Well, I think you should do, look. I mean, currently, Boss will be popping champagne corks and oh. Black Star won't be. Uh, but again, of course, if you heard some sounds like these, you disagreed with Rob. Of course, that's entirely, you know, up to you. It sort of doesn't surprise me in the sense that <coughs> Katana have been so overwhelmingly popular over the last three or four years. Yeah, there's, it's, um, it's this, there's something in the, there's a frequency in this that I want to remove. All right. That I think would make it... Maybe that's voiced. No. Yeah, that's a and, hell of a lot better. And, and you've got all these different power amp responses as well. Yeah, so. let me do that. But what I noticed, you see, I put all of the mid in. Yeah. That's like a million percent better. What about EL34? It's like a what? classic. <laughs> I don't know. Just try okay. it. to the setting before that I yeah. had that I said. Yeah. thing I do want to do actually which we'll I don't know quite how we'll do yeah but I kind of want to see what the overall volume difference is between the two yeah, so yeah. We'll, we'll, oh, right. we'll probably just have to do that and then tell you what oh, it was okay. rather than it's quite hard to <laughs> This one over here then, please. And what would you normally oh. set this up as? Wait, I'm uh. Just because you've trodden on your lead, that's all. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a lot of gain. Uh, I put it on. Oh, you want 100 watts? Well, it's up to you. you know, okay, really. that's I mean, fine. again, that's, that's where we, we've sort of been. I cracked the master. Yeah. Because it reacts differently. It's interesting, you can see immediately that you're more familiar with this than you well, are. Well, I mean, I, I own four yeah. of them. Yeah. Uh, that, for me, would be about the right kind of... All right, give it a go. It might be a little bit... I mean, I can make adjustments for you again if whilst you're playing. <laughs> Could I have uh, yep. the orange reverb? Oh, the orange reverb. Makes a big deal. <laughs> Could I have... Um, <laughs> what? I, mean, I need my hands on it. No, it's all right. But okay. I, I'm, I'm now tethered entirely. Yeah. Could I have a little bit more gain? Yeah. And uh, could I have a little bit less volume and a little bit more master? Yeah. <laughs> 
between the two now that we've got the but I mean yeah I could add more distortion to yeah. this sound that it would still sound good yeah so for example if you if you crank that gain up to um, about three o'clock or maybe a bit more maybe yeah yeah okay that's where it is now <laughs> So uh, Honest summation is yes. that is that the black star to me it sounds like something pretending to be an amp. Well, whereas this needs tweaking, and I know for a fact that w with um, with the right amount of time, it sounds like an amp. Well, hey, you asked for the comparison. We did the comparison. Maybe not the outcome that Blackstar would have hoped for, but uh, it is. It's only Rob's opinion, and of course, if you liked the sound of the Blackstar don't, over the boss, then don't shoot the blinded comment messenger away. <laughs> uh, I did just want to do a quick. Let's see how loud it goes, just to end. Oh so, God! Here we go. Uh, let's see how loud it goes. Let's go really loud on these amplifiers. Go. That was basically full. And let's do the same over here. Ready, steady, go! Wow, the, the, the katana is louder. Uh, just goes to show that's what happens with different kinds of power amp technology. So, yes. Well, we you know what, it's a bad girl. It's uh. <laughs> It's uh, it's my girl. It's the katana. They're both loud. They're, They're both, both loud, loud enough I, to gig with. But, but I will, yeah, I think katana. Got a bit here's louder. the thing. Uh, uh, off cam, mm. Lee said to me that most people here thought that the Black Star sounded better. I think in the cleans and the crunches, mm. they sound comparable, mm -hmm. very similar. But I think when it comes to the higher gain stuff, which I am more akin to, I think it starts to sound a little bit more processed. Yep. That and that's why I probably prefer the Black Star. Yeah, I mean, as I said that. I do want you guys to, to comment, because as I said, oh, they will. We, we certainly in, in the stuff that we were messing around beforehand whilst Rob was hidden away. They shut me in the toilet. Yes. Um, and even during that segment, you know, the eye contact I was making with the guys, we, we, I thought the Black Star sounded better. Whether it sounds better enough to justify the price difference, I guess that's all going to depend on how long it took you to save up for it in the first place. And, um, and the but thing I is, I wanted your, you know, your opinion. You didn't know. It, you were blindfolded. You didn't know which one was which. So. The other thing is, there's lots and lots to adjust on this. Yes. And I've just been given a, a, a tenth of a window into yep. things that I could tweak on yep. it. So probably, if Blackstar sent me one, I could make it sound really good. Yeah. Given. You yeah, know, that's an true. Of time. I, I didn't, I've just had lots of time. With I didn't mention the, that the. The katana. idea on Katana, as you adjust the amp model, it revoices the preamp and the power amp to sound like that model. On the Black Star, it's two stages. So you've got you've got one to adjust the preamp and one to adjust the power amp. <coughs> so you've got more options on the Black Star. Whether that means better, it just means more most of the time. Um, but yes, you could see I'd just chosen um, 
power amp models that I thought would yeah. be typically and, used and the last those thing, preamp models. Well, yeah, and the last thing I'd leave you with is people tend to prefer things they are familiar with. Mm. I am very familiar with the Boss Katana. Cucumber. It's weird, this video. So that's yeah. been our video. I feel, you feel I devastated because you are you you don't like being bad cop, do you? No. I but mean, I feel are. bad because the thing is, I own Black Star amps. Don't you know? feel bad. Feel I'm, good for the people. These are, these are about going, honestly, you've just said you prefer the cheaper one. The people I've will got, love you. I have two Black Star amps. I know you do. They're both HD5s. They're good amps. Anyway, look. That's it. Now we're going to go and do Katana 50 versus THR 30. So tune in next week <laughs> to see how Rob f***s that one up too. <laughs> Bye. Cucumber. Cucumber.